What's up you guys, my name is Javier and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about iOS 17.3 RC is now available to the public, available from the iPhone 15 down to the iPhone 10R. This update came at a very large 6.39 gigabytes. So when you come from a beta version to a final release version, it's always gonna download. It reinstalls the final version on the phone. So this update also releases RCs for iPad OS, Mac OS, Watch OS, TV OS, HomePod OS, iPad, and every other device. So let's dive right in and let's jump to the build number. So if we go back to settings, general, about, so this version build number is 21D50. This update includes improvements and bug fixes to the phone. So in this version, there is no there is no update to the modem firmware if you're coming from beta 3. We now have a new feature called stolen device protection. So if we go into our settings here, go into general, scroll down to where it says. So if we go to our settings and go down to where it says face ID and passcode, we'll put the passcode in. We scroll down here where it says stolen device protection. I have it on currently. I have it turned on at the moment. If I turn it off, it'll prompt you here to put your face ID and it'll show you security delay required to change stolen device protection. So this will go into security delay, will last for one hour. You will still be able to use your iPhone during the delay. Still that not much information happening here. When we um, start security delay, it does give you a countdown here in the bottom for one hour. You are able to use your phone while it's doing this in the background. We haven't had that much information on this yet. I still can't figure out how it does track your location when you leave or come back to a familiar location. What does it do when it's out of its familiar location? We also have something new in the wallpaper. So if we press and hold here on the lock screen, scroll to the right, add a new lock screen. And if we go down, to here where it says Unity designed by Black Creatives and Alliance at Apple to honor Black history and culture. So let's look at this new one here. So if we go tap on Unity Bloom, so it's very nice, very elegant wallpaper. If you swipe through the different effects, it does change the background and everything else. These are the new ones here. So if we scroll, if we keep scrolling, we do have the ones from last time. And if we go to Apple's Apple's website here, it's in the newsroom. Apple unveils 2024 Black Unity Collection supporting grants and inspire resilience and creativity. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, Apple does announce and reveal a new Apple Watch Band, which they do every single year. Actually, this one's very nice. And if you keep swiping, it shows you different combinations with the Apple Watch wallpaper as well. Another great feature that come comes with iOS 17.3. If you go to settings, go to general, go to AirPlay and handoff. Down here, we used to, we always had AirPlay receiver. Now, the good thing about that is that we can now AirPlay what's on our phone to hotel TVs, to selected Apple TVs or selected TVs across different hotels. If you go back to the main page, if we go to general, Apple Care and Warranty, this now shows us all the devices that we have signed in with Apple Care. Apple has also enhanced crash detection on the iPhone. So if you go down here where it says emergency, so Apple did update that sensitivity for the iPhone 14 and 15 for crash detection so it won't go off at, by random or not so sensitive that it will go off. So it looks like Apple did fix a problem with, with the wallpaper glitch. So if we swipe down from the home screen, um, you can see there, and we swipe back up, it doesn't do that anymore. Maybe just a little bit there, I actually did notice that here in the corner. See, it does dim just a little bit there. So it looks like they fixed it just a little bit, but not too well, which I did notice that just now. So if we do that again. Yeah, it does, it does dim down, so Apple is still fixing it. It doesn't look as bad as it did before. So it looks like Apple still hasn't fixed the notification bug as well. So if we swipe down, we swipe down, swipe up. I don't have too much notifications to show you, but it does bounce just a little bit there, as you saw, just a little bit. But it's still a little bit glitchy once in a while. Also, there is no mention of Wi-Fi and cellular data 
being fixed as mentioned in iOS 17 on iOS 17.2.1. After installing 17.3, using this for a day, performance has been very good. So going through different apps, different pages, and during different notifications, there has not been any glitch. So performance is very well on this version. I haven't seen it bug or glitch out or drop any rates, but I did notice the keyboard here and there glitch out a little bit, but not too often. They had that bug before, but it looks like they fixed it. But a lot of people have been saying that that bug still is there and lagging when you're typing. So with heat on the iPhone here in the back, so I haven't felt anything. It's not hot to the touch or anything, even when it's installing a new version of 17.3 onto it. Like I said, no problem with heat. Very cool to the touch. I haven't had it overheating or anything. So very good sign there. And I don't think we'll gonna see any more problems with the heat so far. Honestly, every single update to, since they fixed that problem has been smooth for me personally. If you've been having that same heat problem since then or even now with this update, please let me know down below. And so let's check our battery um, health. So if you go to our settings here, scroll down where it says battery, battery health and charging. We're still at 100% of battery, and we have all these features turned on, clean energy charging, charging optimized, and let's take a look at how many cycles we have. So we currently have 119 charging cycles on this current phone. So question is, if should you install to this 17.3? By the time like this releases out, the RC versions, it's safe enough to update to this version. There shouldn't be any more bugs besides the bugs that I did mention, but there shouldn't be any major bugs that should be stopping you from updating to this RC version. And this mostly should be the final version for 17.3. If not, we might see an RC2 version next week. And that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found anything else that I haven't mentioned, please let me know down in the comments section below. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe down below. Also hit the like button if you haven't yet already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.